Hey dolls, so I'm back. So this video is gonna be on this hair, showing you how I style it, as well as telling you a story time during this video on how, or getting fired on Valentine's Day. So let me just tell you dolls where this hair is from and give you all the specs and everything like that before we jump into the video. The name of this company is called The Lago. I believe that's how you say it. This just makes me think of like Mercia Lago and like it's kind of similar, you know? the lago so this is the lago hair um and i do have a lace wig it did come in a bag y'all know they all come in those bags and then i did get some wig caps in a nice nude color but i didn't use them i didn't use a cap at all and the hair that i have is a 360 lace wig it's 180 density it's 22 inches and it is a body wave wig um and i think it's super cute i did color the hair the natural color was like a 1b type color um and in the video i did tell you how i got this kind of color but i just wanted to do some color on this hair because i know y'all don't want to see the same thing all the time and it's 22 inches so it is sorry i got like a little piece of glue or something or gel whatever so yeah i know y'all don't want to see like the same wigs over and over and stuff so i try to pick up different lengths and colors and stuff like that i did just my simple little middle part i really like how the little blonde streak in the front is looking i did purposely kind of put some right in the front area to get that in the middle point so yeah this is how the hair look i'm gonna show y'all the back well, this is how the hair comes if i pull it down it can come kind of like right on top of my butt and it's only 22 but it's really pretty I feel like this is like the ombre kind of highlighted look that I used to like to do a lot back in the day. So it definitely brings me back to years ago, honey. But it's super pretty. And yeah, I really like this hair. So let's jump into the video. so this is the wig i really wanted to show y'all the inside so you do get three combs at the top i usually remove all three of these combs out of the top just so that i can really bleach my knots well but i was in such a rush to bleach them that i didn't have time to cut them out so i just kind of piled the bleach on to bleach the knots anyway and then at the bottom you do also have another comb and then you have these adjustable straps and also here on the sides if you can see these little hooks it does come with straps that you can adjust and it's already like a sewed in elastic band but it also does come with a separate elastic band that you can sew into the wig if you don't want to use this kind but it is adjustable so you can make it tighter or looser to fit your head okay dolls so i just put the wig onto my head and i am going to be applying this wig with you dolls and also talking um doing a story time sorry my eye is watering so my makeup might have got a little messed up there, but my eyes watering. So I'm just going to apply this wig and we're going to do a story time because this is a story that I have been wanting to do. Sorry, my vanity is like so junky. So I'm trying to like move some of this stuff out of the way. But yeah, I've been wanting to do like a story time on this, but I was thinking like I wanted to do a muck. But okay, so I was thinking I wanted to do like a mukbang, but... I haven't started doing mukbangs on my channel yet because I eat all the time, but I love to enjoy my food. Like, I am so greedy. So, I haven't started doing any mukbangs yet, but I really want to do some mukbangs eventually or whatever. So, this story time, as you probably seen in the title, because I'm sure I'll include it, but this story time is about being fired on Valentine's Day. And I was thinking just now, like, let me do this story time before i forget details and stuff because it's already been a while as it is now and i feel like i'm not gonna remember everything this story is gonna be about being fired on valentine's day so if you guys remember if you watch my vlog channel i haven't posted any vlogs in a while but quite a while ago i had posted a vlog about getting a job and stuff like that so for a while like i used to work at a doctor's office back in the day and then I took a break and I didn't work. I just did my YouTube thing. And then I kind of got bored and not, I wasn't really like motivated, you know, to like get up and do my videos and stuff every day. And I felt like I kind of just needed something to like get me going and fill up my time, you know. So like, of course, if I'm really just trying to do YouTube, I need all my time. Um, but at that time, 
I really wanted to do something else and you know just be able to get out and I was in the house a lot like I was not really doing much so it will kind of make you go crazy especially if you are just at home all the time and not really doing anything so I got a job at the hospital um and I was doing medical records or I was working in the medical records department and if y'all remember at my old job I used to do medical transcription records and auditing so at my old job I actually used to do everything but at this newer job at the hospital because the first place was the doctor's office okay second place was the hospital I'm like I used to do everything so this is a piece of cake right because I'm only doing one job versus what everything I used to do anyways okay so y'all just want to know how I got fired right so anyways I'm just kind of giving you a backstory but that's basically like my job title um and the medical records the way that they did it was totally different so I did have to learn the new way and all of that jazz okay so let me just tell y'all um as far as with the supervisors or whatever that was over that department everything was not always peaches and cream um so if y'all know like almost a year ago my boyfriend at the time um I lost him and also like within a couple of weeks later I lost my grandpa so I was like under a lot of stress but I really felt like let me go to work like not right after it happened like of course I took some days off but I was I wanted to go to work because I felt like I needed work to keep me going because if I was at home like if I was just doing YouTube at that time with everything that was going on that would have not been good for me because I would have just been like super depressed and sitting in the house so I felt like it was good that I did have the job although I had really bad anxiety so going to work kind of made it worse but then at the same time work helped me because I was able to get out and kind of take my mind off of everything so I continued to go to work but really before everything happened um you know like me losing them before that happened I really already wanted to quit like after I worked there for probably about five six months I was over it because the way that they do things were just not cool with me so for one whenever I first started y'all know I love my nails and my colors and my stones and designs and all that jazz so for one, whenever I first was hired, because if y'all know at my old job at the doctor's office, I used to do my nails however I wanted to and they didn't care as long as I could type. And they always used to be so impressed. Like, how can you type with those long nails? Because my nails were long, but not this long. Like, I wear my nails even longer now. But yeah, so at my old job, they were cool with my nails. So whenever I went to the hospital, I'm like, what's up with the rules? Like, whenever I knew I was getting hired, I'm like, okay, what's the rules? Like... As far as nails and you know hair stuff like that because I knew I couldn't wear like blue wigs and things like that so she was like oh yeah like the hospital has rules for nails or whatever but we don't really care because basically where I worked at it was a closed off department other than if someone in the hospital came to get records they would only see the person at the front desk where our office was it is closed off you need a code to get back there all of that so the patients are not seeing you unless you are in the hallway basically like it's just not possible for them to see you so um i never really thought that it would be an issue and plus whenever i was still just getting hired um, like probably during the interview she we had already kind of discovered you know went over that and she had said oh it doesn't matter like you can do your nails um however you want or whatever because you know like nobody really sees us so at that point I'm already kind of like all right well I'm good like this is a job for me because I don't really have to deal with patients and I get to pretty much still get my nails done and all of that and at the time, actually, you know what? At the time, I did have my nails. They were more like of a pink and white or something like that. But at the time, I did have stones and designs on my nails. Um, and she had told me that my nails were fine. So I'm thinking like, okay, because whenever I went to orientation, it said like you can't do nail designs or you have to do one color and it cannot be a crazy color like basically nudes light pinks 
and things like that. Like they don't want you to have anything crazy. Y'all know I do my nails crazy. So that was that was already like a problem for me because if I can't get my nails how I want to, I don't want to work here because I want to be able to express myself. And I know jobs have rules and shit like that, but I'm used to following my own damn rules. So y'all not letting me do what I want to do. I'm not really just wanting to be here. So that was that. This hair is melting nicely. It's not really sticking that good right here. So that was that. Anyways, so um, probably, like I said, let me go back because I'm just all over the place. So probably at like five or six months, I was kind of over the whole situation of working there because of the way that they were doing things. And the way that they were doing things is like if one person did something, it's a lot of women, girls, whatever. If one person did something... They would send an email to everyone addressing the situation, but they wouldn't say like, y'all know my name is Juanita. So they wouldn't say like, oh, Juanita has long nails. We just want to give you a reminder. We don't want your nails to be long or different colors or whatever. They wouldn't do that. They would just send an email to everyone and kind of put like the rules or like the... um the the handbook whatever you know y'all know what i'm trying to say they would send that to everybody and they would highlight certain parts of it like if it was about dress code or nails or whatever it may be anytime somebody did whatever it was that's what they would do like not just me so that was very annoying and then when we would get in meetings they would bring the shit up or whatever and it's like bro like y'all used to be saying it didn't matter like about people nails so now it was like summertime and everybody had like neon and pink and oh y'all can't have that and y'all know i had did like my multiple colors but i wasn't even doing it crazy like how this is so colorful it wasn't even like that but it was still an issue it was more pastel and soft and it still wasn't so many colors like this but whatever so they was bringing it up and making that an issue so that was already a problem for me and I was like venting and mad so then you know I wanted to quit but then everything happened so I feel like I needed to go to work still so I just you know kept going to work because I feel like work was going to save me from being depressed and things like that so I went to work um and I worked there for about a year and a couple of months or so um because i started in january and well one month i worked there for a year and a month because i started in january and i ended on valentine's day <laughs> so let's just get to how that happened so as y'all know i already had an issue with some of the things that they were doing but what made the issue worse was one day after everything had happened like i had lost my grandpa and my boyfriend at the time i was just so frustrated and they did something that pissed me the hell off i don't know what it was but they also did show special attention to certain people and they also seemed very racist because not to just make this like a black and white thing or whatever but certain white people or white people in general could do things that the black girls could not do and it just seemed very racist and i'm not about to let you just run over me or i don't give a damn if you the manager or you the authority figure or whatever the hell you want to call yourself you're not just gonna treat me like shit and think that i'm not gonna say anything or whatever so what happened was they were giving this one girl special attention or whatever and it was like it seemed like she never used to do shit which come to find out because i'm still cool with the one person that i was super cool with at work and she still works there so the girl who i was saying they give special attention to she doesn't work there anymore but she definitely got special attention because she started the girl who i was super cool with she had been there for a while the other girl who was white the girl who i was cool with she was black so I'm just going to call her R. I don't want to put her name in here, but if you watch this girl, you know what I'm talking about. So the other girl was white and R had been working there for years or I don't know how many years, but she had already been there for a while. And the white girl came later after her. Now, um, whenever there was a position open for someone to move up, they hadn't even really like posted it or i'm not even sure how she found out i guess she went to like the hospital's website 
but the white girl applied for it and you would think like if someone has been there longer and they have more experience you would go ahead and say to the people in your department like oh we have this position coming we encourage you all to apply for it whoever wants to um you know whatever just to make it fair but at the same time you would want somebody who has already been there for a while with more experience or even if the person is new and they have worked their ass off and you know that they can do it then you know that's cool but this girl wasn't doing shit so basically she did end up getting the new position or whatever and my friend she wasn't mad about it she didn't care because she really didn't want to go and do that job anyway which is she never applied for it but it, it was just annoying because we knew that this girl never did anything so why is she getting a promotion so what happened was after this was before she got the promotion by the way but she was just getting away with doing whatever she wanted so I had brought it up and just like the way that they were handling things around there had pissed me off so I had sent a very long nasty email to them saying you know oh and also like the area that I sat in at first I was moved from my seat and we were all rearranged the black girls were mostly together um, and we were kind of on the side where I felt like we could be watched basically and I'm not a child like I'm grown as hell it is a lot of younger girls who work there and stuff but for me it was never a money thing for me to go and work there yeah it was extra money and it was cool but I was perfectly fine just doing what I was doing at the time so I only went to work there because I needed something extra to do so it was never an issue about the money for me and it that always made me kind of even more so like I'm not putting up with y'all bullshit so what happened was I sent this long email I was very straight up about everything they had moved us around I was sitting all the way in the front like right across from the um, director's office or whatever and she had a glass office basically like a fishbowl so she could see everything like bitch are you trying to watch me all day like why did i get moved here and i just feel like it was like nitpicky type stuff all the time and that happens to me at every job not every job but since i have been grown that has happened to me at every job but at my old job the doctor's office it was happening to me with an employee not the managers i was super cool with the managers but at this place it wasn't the employees it was the manager so what happened was I sent them that email and I sent it to both of them because there were two managers or directors. There was a head lady and then there was one who was underneath or, you know, underneath her or whatever. And the one who was the head person, she is much older, probably like my grandmother's age or something. But I, I was not disrespectful, but I was honest and straight up like this is what's going on and this is how I feel and basically in that email I had said things like you can fire me like um you know like you don't have to just keep me here or whatever like you can fire me like fire me if this is how you feel I feel like I'm being treated like a kid people get special treatment y'all let this person do such and such and I put their name in there and everything like I was very straight up I was not playing games um and basically what happened was i was very stressed out and it, it just had a combination to do it just it was just a combination of things that had to do with me losing people and you know just like trying to heal from that or whatever but it was also the way that they were doing things around there so whenever she finally called me in for a one-on-one -on -one, it was basically flipped on me like oh i was i'm tripping or something which at the time I did feel like yeah I am stressed out and stuff like that so probably a lot of it did have to do with emotions and stuff like that but at the same time this is really how y'all treat people and I had talked to other girls and they felt the same way like that this one person in particular got special treatment and you know that they were picking on them as well because they would nitpick about certain things so that was that now i'm still working there but it you know i have put everything out there and i have said both of the director's names and what i feel like they have done and all of that so it's kind of like 
you know that I really don't like you at this point because I have let you know how I truly feel. So at that point, I feel like they really wasn't fucking with me no more after that at all. Like they were still fucking with me, but they wasn't fucking with me. If y'all know what I'm saying, like they would mess with me, but they didn't like me anymore because of I was very honest. So what happened down the line, like I just felt like they started doing little certain things all the time and then it became to the point where okay I started missing days because I really didn't want to be there anymore I had days like you get a certain amount of days but that was that whatever so then I missed some days I would call in I didn't care because I really didn't want the job anymore and at that point I kind of wanted to get fired so then like for New Year's let me just tell y'all so like for New Year's I requested to be off because we had to work on believe it was new year's eve and new year's day so i'm like i'm i'm used to being off like i do shit with my family even if i'm not going out to the club like even if i'm sitting at home who want to be at work on new year's and we at the hospital like it's if if it's patients i mean even though there are patients in the hospital the medical records department is closed like you still have to do the work but nobody can come and get records so why are we here whatever like of course we're gonna have work to do because any days that you're off and nobody is working things build up because when people discharge from the hospital you have to do you know put all of their information in so but i'm like i'm not coming to work so i requested off after they had said whatever that we're not going to be off and they were kind of saying like nobody could take off or something like that but i still requested off because i just wanted to see and they did not approve my request and i called in because i was not going to work like i tried to take off you wouldn't let me take off and to me i didn't give a damn like <laughs> you want to work today i don't i'm not staying here so i called in and somebody else that worked there who didn't know how to do shit but they hired this girl and kept her there basically because her father is like a big person at the hospital. Sorry, girl, I like you, but you don't know how to do shit. So whatever. But that's why they kept her there because after she she finished with her 90 days or whatever, like, bitch, you still don't know how to do nothing. Like, I had to learn how to do everything like in a week, like... So what the fuck? Like she gets special treatment. Oh, because she white. Because if she was black, you would have been let her go. Like, come on. So anyways, I'm all over the place. I'm just ranting. I didn't go to work for New Year's. So then whenever we came back to, or whenever I did go back to work, they, um, she brought me in the office and she was asking me like why I didn't come to work or something. And I told her like, oh, I was out of town. Like, Bitch, it don't matter. I didn't come. Like, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, are you going to fire me because of it? Okay, fine. I'll take my firing and walk the fuck up out of here. Like, I wouldn't give no fucks. So, she was like, oh, well, we said everybody had to work. And certain people, this is the girl that I was telling y'all about just now. Certain people's um, kids had to have surgery and they couldn't even go because they had to come to work. Like... Bitch, are you fucking stupid? I wouldn't care if my dog having surgery. I'm not coming to work. Like, no, I don't care if it's a holiday. You need me there. I don't care if my dog having surgery. I'm going to be with my dog, especially my child. Like, bitch, are you fucking stupid? The job is not that important. And you're not going to get fired really anyways unless you just got so many days and you about to get fired. But fuck that. I would not go to work. So I'm like whatever like kind of just looking at her stupid so then she was like yeah and um everybody had to come to work it didn't matter what they had going on so don't be surprised if you get dirty looks bitch what did you really just say that to me you supposed to be the director the supervisor whatever but you being petty and you really don't like me so that's why you saying shit like that or whatever so i'm like i kind of laughed it like i really sat there and laughed right there 
in front of her because it's like, bitch, don't tell me I'm gonna get dirty looks. Like, you think I give a fuck? People been not liking me since I was in elementary school. I'm used to haters. I'm used to people not fucking with me just because. So you think I give a damn about these people up in here? Like, I don't come to work to make friends. I come to work to get a check. And honestly, the check that y'all giving ain't never just been nothing to, like, make me go crazy for like if i was not doing my videos and shit with that job if i just had to have that job alone i couldn't have made it so like what is this job this is just some extra spending money i was using that money to shop and buy shit and whatever like it wasn't a big deal to me so anyways what happened was so I um I missed some days of work. So like y'all like y'all already know, I already said I missed some days of work. So then I kind of started feeling like cool you tripping. Like this is extra money. Like because I kept thinking like this they ain't paying me enough to be here and be putting up with this shit. But then I started to think like, all right, because every time it's like I'll talk myself down. So I'm like, you tripping, like it's extra money. Like it don't matter how much extra money it is. If it's not a whole lot of money, it's still extra money. So, like, you should still work here and get this extra check. Like, as long as you can, you know, if you're going to get fired, then you get fired. And you ain't going to be tripping because you've been not wanting to work here anyways. But at the same time, why not get the money? You, you know, you went through everything for this job. And I would also feel like, damn, like, God bless me with this job. I don't want to disappoint him and just quit. So... I kept going to work and I was like, all right, it's about to be summertime soon. It was still, y'all know, like in February, January, it's still cold or whatever. But we had went to Ross and I used to find like a lot of cute work stuff there. And they had like a lot of cute little capris in different colors. And I picked up like every color. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I got me some new cute stuff I could wear to work. Put this on with a white little tank and a jean jacket with some cute sandals because I used to dress down all the time instead of wearing heels like I used to wear heels a lot at first but then I started wearing more relaxed shit I'm all over the place y'all so <laughs> so anyways I bought all this shit so at this point I'm like all right I'm gonna just keep this little job get my extra money it's helping me um, you know, to get out and do things, whatever. But really, at this point, I'm really wanting to focus on my videos because I'm seeing what I could do and I know I could do better if I was not working there. So, um, I went to work the day before Valentine's and I got sick. I did take some medicine. I got sick, so I took some antibiotics and... I did not eat with it prior to taking it um but I had taken it the day before as well like in the morning and I waited and got something to eat like once I got to work so I was like no big deal like I could just eat something when I get there so whenever I got there I started to feel kind of nauseous um and I had some pretzels in my desk like in my little cupboard thing or whatever so I was like let me just eat something real quick to put on my stomach and y'all know most of the time if you eat like salt on crackers it will settle your stomach so i'm like pretzels it should do the same thing so i'm like eating some of these um pretzels and i i drank some water like i drank a lot of water but then it was like yo i feel so sick so i just went to the restroom and it was like soon as i got to work y'all like i had been at work for like 30 minutes so i went to the restroom and I threw up. I never throw up, so I felt really bad. Like, I'm really sick because I don't ever really just throw up. So, while I was in the restroom, I didn't even know, but um, I wasn't going to really try to go home. Like, I felt okay, but I did feel sick and queasy. Like, you know how you feel after you throw up. But a girl who worked with me actually was in the bathroom, and I didn't even know she was in there. Like... Yeah, whenever I went in a restroom, it's like stall. So whenever you go in a restroom, then you know you got to go in the stall. As soon as I opened the door to the stall, I was throwing up because I kind of like got it on the toilet and stuff. Like I couldn't even get all the way over it. I cleaned up my mess though. I'm not nasty. So the girl um, that works with me, she was actually in the stall right next to where I was at. And she was like, Juanita, like I guess she seen my shoes or something. 
And I was like, yeah, she was like, you okay? And I was like, I feel sick or whatever and stuff. So she went back and told the other people that work with us, like, oh, Juanita's sick. She in the bathroom throwing up or whatever. They probably was thinking like, this bitch then got pregnant, whatever, whatever. She got morning sickness. But I was sick because of the medicine or whatever. So then I started thinking like, damn, bitch, is you pregnant? Like... <laughs> is you pregnant or is it the medicine? Because I had already took the medicine and not ate. And then, you know, I didn't wait too long, but then I ate. And it hadn't been that long since I took it, but it really made me sick. So I'm like, what the fuck? So they were all like, oh, you need to go home. You might be contagious. Like if you throwing up, you know, they don't want you to stay at work. Which when we come into work, the directors, managers, whatever, they are not at work. So it's only workers there. So everybody who works there, they know that I was throwing up. So they all like, oh, you need to go home, text them and tell them that you sick, that you threw up or whatever and go home. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to text them. Mind you, at this point, I have all of the absences that I can get. So this was going to be, this was the last mark of getting an absence. But to me, if you go into work, that's not really absent. Yes, I did not complete my shifts, but I showed up to work. I didn't call in. So previously, any other time, those were call-ins. So I'm like, I'm not calling in, so I'm good. Like, I'm not thinking that I'm counted as absent. I'm thinking, like, I came in, but I got sick and left, right? So I'm not even really just thinking about that. But everybody like, oh, you need to go home. You need to go home. So whenever I text her... Um, they was like, wait like five, ten minutes. If she don't text you back, then just go home. Like, she'll see the message and we'll tell her whatever. So I waited, didn't get a response. Once I got home, I got a response. And she just said like, okay, like she didn't say nothing. You would think if, you already know how many absences I got because you keep up with your workers. It's not that many of us in that department. But if it was me, like if I was the manager and... I text me, let me just say, okay, so if I was the manager and my employee texted me and said that they were sick and I already know that they have a certain amount of absences, even if I'm not thinking of it at the time, whenever you go and mark it in your book or whatever at work, you're going to see how many other absences this person got. I need to gel that back. But you're going to see how many absences the person got. So, so I would have been like, hey, I would have been like, girl, you know, like this, you can't have any more absences and this is still going to count as an absence. So can you try to come back in and work like a few hours or whatever so it's not counted or whatever. But really, the way that the hospital does it, they real slick because once I looked at the rule book or whatever and really like read it, read it, it doesn't even say like if you work half for your shift or if you work two hours, you won't be counted absent or, or nothing. Like it just says if you, if you do not complete your scheduled shifts, you are absent. So that basically means even if I was to go to work and I worked, if I was scheduled to work eight hours and I worked six or even if I worked seven and something happened that I had to leave, that still means that I will be counted as absent. But really, it's kind of up to your directors if they want to count it as that because there have been plenty of days that we have left work early because we did not really have any work to do and they just let us use our pto and it's not counted as an absence so it's definitely up to the director so at that point i'm like oh yeah they really don't fuck with me so she um she just texted me and said okay like she didn't say anything about an absence or oh you know like this you're gonna get fired or you know she didn't say nothing she just said okay like i hope you feel better or some shit like that so the next day is valentine's for valentine's i'm like let me get cute like i don't really have plans to go do anything but let me just get cute for work so i put on me like some cute little red pants with a black line on the side black little shirt my i put my heels on i never be wearing my heels to work remember y'all i've been wearing flats for the longest so i go to work cute i'm at work i'm working and it's probably at least, I, go, I used to go to work at 6 o'clock. It's probably at least around 10 o'clock or something. So I've been there for quite a while. Like, I'm damn near halfway through my day. They come, it might have been 9. I may, I may be lying, I may be exaggerating. It might have been like 9. But that's still quite a while to be at work. They come in at 7 or 8. They come in at 8. They came in at 8. 
but you already been here for over an hour because it has to be like 9 30 10 o'clock or something you come in at 8 and you wait until like 9 30 10 o'clock to call me in the office and tell me um we're sorry but we're gonna have to let you go we spoke with hr um it's out of our hands they want us to follow the policy some people will cry because it's like oh my god i need my job like what am i gonna do or whatever i didn't even i didn't even do none of that i just sat there smiling like okay because y'all know i already said i didn't really want to work there no more and i didn't fuck with them like whatever so i'm like okay and she all like oh i'm so sorry because you were so good like you're one of our best workers bitch y'all got somebody working here who don't know how to do a damn thing i know how to do everything and i'm fast and all of it but y'all firing me because i left work and i was sick and i was throwing up and everybody saying you can't stay here because you throwing up so i'm like all right cool like whatever oh we want to know what you're gonna move on to do next um whatever your next job is like let us know like bitch no we're not friends like we never were friends i was here for a check and bitch the next thing i'm gonna do is drag y'all on this video because that's what i'm doing right now so period which is i don't blame them at all because you got to do your job if the if hr really said that then okay that's cool but at the same time everybody has said in the hospital like the managers or directors they can make a decision on what they want to do like they did not have to fire me but i was not mad at them for doing it because y'all know i be having shit to do so i ain't fucking tripping like fuck out of here i already didn't like working there no more and i just lately i have just been feeling in my creative zone like y'all see i've been doing all the colors and stuff and I've been doing my nails. I mean, y'all know I, already, I always do my nails. But I've been able to experiment and have more fun with my overall look. And I feel like I'm starting now to get back into myself as far as filming videos. Y'all, this video is going to be so long. But yeah, I'm starting to feel back more like myself as far as filming videos. I just had to get back in the hang of editing my videos so that I can put them out more. But lately, I have been filming a lot and I've already been off for some months now. I've took a vacation. Um, so yeah, it has not affected me at all not working there other than positively um, because I just feel like I'm in a much better space not working. So yeah, that's how I got fired on Valentine's Day. That was a long ass story, but I feel like I kind of need to tell y'all the backstory to it so y'all would know how it happened. Um, so yeah, I did miss several days. So overall, that's why I got fired. But you know, I don't. I really don't care. It's not. I'm not pressed about it. So don't nobody be in the comments like, "Oh my God, I'm sorry you lost your job." Like, girl, no, it was a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Because at the same time, I'm like, okay, I don't want to work here anymore. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, if I get fired, I'm gonna get my unemployment. That's gonna be some extra coins. Y'all know you want to cash in on the unemployment train. But since the hospital sets their policy up where you can't really get it, I got fucked. Because once I really looked at it, it said like, um, if you don't work your scheduled shifts, then you're, then you're absent. So like I was saying, that would mean even if I went to work for um, seven hours or like seven and a half hours and I was scheduled to work eight that's still an incomplete shift. So that's still like, okay, you're absent. So um, whenever I first applied for it, they were asking me all these questions. And then, um, you know, they sent the letter saying like I couldn't get it. So at first I'm like, okay, I'm going to appeal this shit because I got fired. But once I really like looked over the paperwork, I'm like, they have it rigged where they don't really have to pay you. So at that point, I'm kind of like, fuck it. But but yeah, so whenever um, whenever I did the first appeal, I did, I was going to go through with it and just like tell them, you know, my side of the story. And, you know, like I wasn't even sure that I was counted absent because I did show up to work. But what happened was um, they called all of these people on the phone, like they called HR, they called the director, they had me on the phone. And it was just like, bitch, I'm not begging nobody for no fucking money, like my pride is too fucking high to the sky like 
you got all these people on the phone and I'm supposed to be pleading my case. Like, I'm not doing it. And I just hung the fuck up. So they sent another paper, like trying to reschedule it, which at that time, um, the rescheduled date, I was going, going to be gone on my vacation. And I definitely wasn't calling during my vacation to do it. And honestly, it had already been quite a while because y'all know um, unemployment already takes a while, but it took even longer because of that situation. So I had already been taking care of things all by myself, not, you know, depending on any other income to come in or, you know, nothing like that. So I'm like, God didn't already show me you good. Like, am I pride too high? Like, fuck this. And I just hung up. Like, I'm not doing this, bitch. I'm not begging y'all for shit. Like, Bitch, you gonna see me. You wanna know how I'm doing? Come watch this video. You gonna see right here I'm doing just motherfucking fine. Buying every and anything that I wanna buy. And I'm good, period. Like, I ain't want for nothing. I ain't hungry. I ain't homeless. I got God and we good. So, period. So, yeah, that's how I got fired on Valentine's Day. Y'all let me know. Um, a crazy story where y'all might have got fired. Maybe it was like a holiday, your birthday, or you know, just any crazy way that y'all got fired. So just let me know. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish curling my hair. That's enough about the talking because this video gonna be long as hell. So I'm gonna just speed through this portion because I've been talking too much. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten out my part to make sure that I have it the way that I wanted to because it looks kind of crooked so about this hair my boyfriend did say that this hair looked it just looks dirty <laughs> I haven't actually worn the hair this is my first time putting it on and styling it but um I did color it and stuff like that so damn my hot comb turned off so I did color it um I'm going to just finish curling because my hot comb has to heat back up. But I did color it and then I just kind of had it on um, my mannequin drying. And he was like, what is that? And I was like, a wig, like whatever. And he was like, uh, uh-uh, it looked dirty. Like why it looked like that? And I was like, um, because I colored it. I was like, it's a honey blonde color. Like, and I did an ombre and it's like highlighted and stuff. Like I'm thinking that I'm... I done did something cute for the summer. Like, let me do me a little color. Oh. Like, I done did 613. I want to do something a little bit more natural and honey color. You know, just a cute color wig for the summertime. So, he like, that look, it look dirty. And I'm like, really? The hair was like still wet and not completely dry. And y'all know, it looks a little bit more darker whenever it is wet so i'm like once it dries and i curl it and i put it on like you'll see like it's cute like the color is cute and i was like honey blonde it's kind of like the color that beyonce wears like maybe not particularly the exact color that i came out with but that's kind of more like her kind of color like she don't do the white blonde she do like a honey blonde and he was like blonde is like the hair that you had on and i was like the hair that i had on is 613 there are several shades a blonde honey but y'all know y'all can't tell me and nothing they think they know it all so yeah this is the color that i came out with and to achieve this color what i did was first i did the um method where you just put the developer on and i just wanted to see how light it would get but it just got to like a nice brownish kind of color um so then i did end up using and i didn't want to use my bleach because I'm always bleaching knots and frontals and stuff, so I did not want to waste my bleach, but I did end up going in with some bleach, and then I used a cheap box dye from the Dollar Tree on top of it to kind of tone it a little bit so it won't be brassy. And since I had already previously kind of colored it, um, I feel like I got more of different tones with the hair. Like I have some spots that is more golden, and I have some spots that are more... Um, ashy looking so y'all will see it in the back it's mostly in the back i don't know maybe you could see it in the front but yeah i haven't did this kind of color in forever i haven't really did an ombre or bleaching anything like this in a really long time like years and years and years and i definitely haven't did it on a lace type wig like the last time i put some streaks or something in a hair was whenever i was wearing u-part wigs and that wasn't even uh, ombre so 
yeah y'all how do y'all like my makeup at first i was just trying with some colors or trying with some colors i was just playing with some colors and i was like i just put it together and then i was like i don't really like this but now that it's kind of like melted in i think that it looks pretty together I'm going to start doing a lot of more makeup tutorials and stuff for y'all because I've been so inspired lately, but I just didn't film it today because I didn't want to take up so much time filming because I already knew I wanted to do a story time uh, video and stuff. So, yeah, this hair came out super cute and I used a bigger one today, this size. This is like the normal one inch and this one is probably like... I don't know maybe like one and a half or two i'm not sure i'm not good at diameters and stuff like that y'all i still have not found my favorite comb i need to probably just go buy me another one i'm scared that i probably brought it with me to florida and i probably left it out there um because i have not been able to find it so i don't know maybe it could be still packed with my stuff i'm not even sure if i brought it but yeah so i'm gonna just use this comb i started to buy a cute gold one yesterday um but I didn't. I might go back and get it. But yeah, so I'm just going to comb it out. Also, I'm going to spray a little oil sheen in it since I did use a little bit of um, hairspray. So I'm just comb it out. Oh, got a little tangle. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm combing it out, y'all can probably see the ashy tones underneath. I don't know if y'all can. On camera, it kind of just all looks like the same kind of color. But it's definitely ashy in some spots and some spots are more honey. I think it's cute though. I think he might like it once he sees it on me. Or he might still say it looked dirty. But he gonna have to work with this and he gonna have to go out with me today with this dirty hair or whatever. <laughs> Cause the, this is what I'm wearing, so. I see it, like some of the ashiness to it. I think the color came out cute and it's not uniform, so I think that's cute too. Let me get this part together. A little bit of oil right there just so that this will really flatten out good. Y'all know, just like when you used to get a press back in the day, you can use like a, a balm. What is it called? You can use like a wax stick if you want to. Or you can put a little bit of oil and it'll just melt the hair down. I'm gonna do some baby hairs or whatever. I don't really know how I wanna do them. Um, if I wanna do any, cause I feel like this looks pretty good. Some powder in my parts. I look crazy. I never tried this powder before. Maybe it might be better than the other one. So I'm gonna put some mousse. Okay, y'all, so this is pretty much it for the tutorial of the hair. Um, yeah, and my story time. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And leave me some comments down below. And if you enjoy a story time video while I'm doing my hair or whatever, let me know if y'all liked it too. And thank you, dolls, for watching. Bye, dolls.